Income distribution is a big problem within society mainly because the gap in income between the poorest and the richest segments are growing at alarming rates. Which is 85 people in the world have more wealth than the poorest 3.5 billion people combined. The world's 10 richest billionaires, according to Forbes, own 505 billion in combined wealth, more than the GDP of most countries. It is not simple to measure the existing economic inequality among any population. Nevertheless, different measures and indices have been developed in order to ease this process. The most simple income distribution method is carried out by dividing the studied population into five different segments. While knowing how much money each one of them makes, we will be able to determine how much income each segment earns out of the total income. That data will allow us to determine if the inequality among the workers is extensive or insignificant, which depends on the difference of money among the different sections. Income distribution will be determined in reference to what percentage of total income each segment makes, rather than the actual amount of money each section earns. In addition to this, since each of the segments is equal in size, we will not be focusing on weighted average incomes. The Lone Score is an economic tool that measures income distribution. In the x-axis, we have that the percentage of households ordered from poorest to richest. And in the y-axis, we have the income percentage. This straight line represents the perfect equality line. But what we usually, usually see in our society is that the poorest 20% like, have like 5% of the total income, then the next 20% have like 30 And we keep going until we find that the richest 20% have like 50% of the total income. So the closer this line it is to the perfect equality line, the better. However, these measures can be misleading due to a number of factors. For example, a country like India will have its GDP per capita skewed due to its large population. And this works vice versa. In a country with a small population and large GDP like Monaco or Austria, the opposite would happen. Another such factor is the prevailing shadow economy in countries. And this economy does not exist on paper, therefore causing the data to mislead us about the truth and the reality on the ground.